ちてゆくがいい惑う乱れて砕けちゅう Back to the channel, boys. I got a big special news for you to. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not bad. <laughs> I, I, I like the troll. Leave me alone. Anyways, uh, check this out. So, the light Charybdis is obviously going to be、um, the sore spot of contention in a couple days. Is it a couple days? I'm, I'm, we're not 100% sure when this is actually going to drop, but this event does last up until. Let me click here. Up until the 29th. So, you have plenty of time to farm this. I see a lot of people still trying to do the、uh, beginner and normal to farm it. Guys, take your time with this game, or at the very least, just take it easy for now. If you can't do expert, just literally skip expert, come back to it later when you can. Trust me, it'll save you a ton of stamina and it'll help you progress significantly faster, right? You don't take a car 150 miles per hour unless it can actually run at 150 miles per hour, okay?、Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Predator battle.、Uh, shout out to Desu Snow over there on the、uh, Reddit server.、Um, Reddit server, <laughs> excuse me, on the Reddit. And you'll see here, upcoming Charybdis event boss data mine. And you'll see that this character is going to be a light element. So, obviously, you're going to be wanting to use a dark character. I believe that you get a dark, excuse me, I believe that dark characters get a light resist of 35% or something along those lines. So, it's in your best. Interest to use a dark character because you won't get um, it, it's pretty much like you're using the advantage character. So even though you're dealing more damage to them, they're dealing less damage to you. I, I don't, I'm hoping that makes sort of sense, but you'll see here the basic attack hits for light magic attack. Uh, the AoE attack that it deals hits for light magic attack. So, if you've fought against the Orc Disaster, you'll remember that he does have an AoE、uh, style slash, but he also has a normal basic attack that is single target. His skills are going to be super annoying because this literally says that he cannot, he can't be.、Um, Brought down by just using your special moves, right? Skill one decreases your soul of secrets gauge increase by 50%. That is going to be incredibly annoying. Alternative skill decreases your soul of secrets gauge increase by 50% and decreases your soul of secrets damage by 50%. So, in my opinion, and, and, and this is just speculating, if this is、uh, fully what the Charybdis is going to do, you're not going to want to use a character that changes, excuse me, you're going to want to use a character that can change. The, the, um, the orange orbs, because those are the soul of secrets, into any other color. <laughs> Alright, that, that's gonna be incredibly、uh, important because you'll see here that this lasts for two turns. So, not being able to use one specific color for two turns without being able to just change it or morph it is gonna be incredibly important. Skill two decreases your soul of secrets gauge increased, increased by 80%. Decreases soul of secrets damage by 80%. Literally, this will completely nullify all of your damage. So,、uh, when it comes down to this event, you're obviously going to want to use、uh, dark characters, but you're also going to want to use characters that can potentially change the, the orbs from orange to either blue or green. Doesn't really particularly matter.、Uh, below are potentially its passive and or other various difficulties. And you'll see here that in the data mine files, he actually did break down that there are special,、um, there are Several, not special, there are several buffs and passives that this enemy gets, and you'll see here increase his own defense until the end of battle by 10, 15, uh, by 5, 10, 15, 20%. Uh, and then over here, you have increase own pierce resistance until end of turn by 80%, and then ear own pierce resistance until the end of battle by 50%. Not sure if this character is going to be able to get stunned like、um, with the Alice Rondo cheese, but we'll see.、Uh, increase his own defense, and I'm guessing this is going to be like the second form. Uh, let's see. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what this is, man. Increases his own defense by 5, 10, 15, 20%, but he increases his own critical rate by 100%. And you'll see here at the end, increases his own critical rate by 100%, increases his own critical damage by 100%. So, no, not only will he crit, and I believe crits are like 20 to 50% damage in this game, and then it, it's a big range. I haven't really properly tested It's hard to get your crit rate really high,、uh, but increases his own critical damage by 100%. So, you're going to be taking tons of damage. Um, if you can't bring this down, increases his own secret skill gauge by 60%, increases his own secret skill gauge by 100%. This boss can literally give himself this, his special move. 
which is most likely going to hit like a truck. So keep that in mind when you're actually building a stage. You're going to want to start building a dark. If, if you haven't started to build the dark team now because you're feeling like, um, you know what, like, oh, you know, it, it, it requires dark characters, but I'm just going to use my dark characters in the back row and not work on them. You're going to want to work on them because they're going to actually be significantly stronger against this event when it comes out. But anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. Just grind or catch up. Hit me up. Stay blessed. I don't want to take uh, too much of your time. Is That's all the information that we got. So like I said, shout out to the boy Desu Snow. Uh, once again, he's the one that's been data mining even the characters and stuff. So that's how we know that uh, Veldora as well as... Demon Lord Rimuru is probably going to be the next banner. I'm not sure when that's coming out. A lot of people are saying that it's coming soon. I'm scared that it's coming soon because I don't want to wail. But, um, yeah, I I'm hoping that, um, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> but it's going to be kind of scary because, I I I oh, yeah, I did my outro already, but um, I'm just going to, the, the video is done, but I'm just going to say some speculative stuff that kind of concerns me. If they come out with another banner um, within the next, like, within the next week, and it's literally like Voldora and Demon Lord Rimuru, and they're all dark type. Like every character that comes out in that banner is dark type, because I think that they're releasing um, another melee man there as well. If they are all dark type, this game is going to be incredibly scary to play. And the reason for that is if they come out with an event that lasts a month, and they only release characters for one specific element, that specific element is going to overrun and dominate the entirety of the game. Now, I get that it's a single player game, so it's not really that big of a deal. Like, the, who cares about the meta, really? That it's not really, uh, like, just have fun with the game for what, what it is. But the imbalance of it, in my opinion, is kind of sus. Because it's like, oh, okay, cool. Like, they're releasing only dark characters, so I can build a whole dark team, but you have to pull these characters. And the only way to actually pull these characters is if you brutally get uh, wrecked, then you have to go to Pity. Like, I almost hit Pity before I got Diablo. Like, I literally just put, pulled Diablo earlier um, today. So, I'm like 40 away from Pity, so yeah. Um, anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys grind on catch up with me. I'll stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Uh, let me know in the comments below what y'all think about it. Um, are y'all scared about it? I I'm kind of scared about it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my summon. It's good. Yeah, as long as she drop it on my face.